Okay, if we did have just that muscle out of a brisket, that'd be that flat. We're, we're working our way out toward the outside here. If we had that, really what we've got kind of looks like that, doesn't it? It's not a lot thick, and not very thick. It doesn't have a lot of fat on it because really that's the portion. This came up here, this was where the bones were with some fat in between. Okay, this is the, actually on this one, this is the portion that would go on up into the chuck. It's upside down from, from the diagram we had earlier. But anyway, that's the, the, the flat muscle itself, the deep pectoral. Okay, just kind of give you an idea of what they look like if they're taken apart wrong. We'll look at one here in just a few minutes and, and try to go through that. Here's the brisket muscles again. If we get, we've got deep pectoral, now we've got to add one to it. The superficial pectoral on the outside of the brisket is that point or web muscle that's on the outside. Okay, so it goes even further up here. We've got a little portion of it there, but still, it's a lot of times called the web muscle, pectoralis, superficialis, or, or superficial pectoral muscle. So it sits in there like that. That's why you've got a flat, and then you've got some that have both right in here if you just start cutting across. And Jeff's going to tell you not to do that, but if you did, you're going to get a piece of both. And then you finally get up here to where you only have the wet muscle on the point portion on the other side. Okay? So we got all those, and then over the top of that, what's there? Fat. And that can be, that's variable in thickness according to how fat the cattle is. And there'll be a lot of trimming on that. The more we do see a lot of trimming associated with briskets, uh, mainly because of uh, some of the regulations on food safety uh, that deal with no feces, uh, ingest, uh, you know, anything on there, uh, no specs, anything that, that would be associated with that that they would think would have uh, is foreign has to be trimmed off, okay? So I said that, you know, a lot of these are uh, imps or institutional meat purchase specifications. 120 is the number. If it's 100 level, it's beef, okay, of some kind. And this is boneless decal off. I said I defined decal, North American Meat Association. I've got an amp here. That was their old name before they, they merged the two groups. Uh, has in their meat tires guide a definition that says the decal is fat and lean lying between the bone and the main muscles of a brisket. So if that's the case, the bones were right here, the decal is mainly this layer of fat, and it may have had some of the bones that were with that in between those. And this one's got quite a bit. It's half an inch or more. Some of these a lot of times are just a, you know, just specks of fat, a uh, quarter of an inch, those kind of things. According to how they pull it off, you can see this one where that's been pretty much trimmed. It's not talking about the fat out here. It's really not the point. I've seen that on a couple of videos that are on YouTube that they're calling this the decal, and that's really <clears throat> inaccurate from what we use for meat terms, and that's that it's this layer of fat that normally is pretty trimmed before we start. You know, most of the time when you see that inside portion of the brisket, it's pretty lean, isn't it? 